What's up guys, it's Drax here. Today I'm gonna to show you guys on how to make this Black Joggers orange to rip shirt outfit that you do see in the thumbnail. For the first part, I'm gonna show you on how to get the Black Joggers and to do this, just pull up your interaction menu, go to services, go to mobile operation center and request your MOC. After you do that, you're gonna wait for it to spawn on the map. Once your MOC does spawn in on the map, you're then just gonna to head to the back of your MOC. After you do get inside your MOC, you're going to want to go ahead and go to the jobs inside your MOC. So it's going to say access mobile operations. After you are here, go ahead and hit right on the D-pad, log in, and scroll down to the bottom. And we're going to be using the work dispute so we can get the black jogger. So just go ahead and launch this job. And after you do launch this job, you guys will need a friend to help you out. And after you guys have a friend loaded in that can help you out, you can just go ahead and start the job. And for the difficulty, make sure you do set it to easy so then you guys do have more lives. But I'll just get back to you whenever I do load into the job. Once you load into the job, if you guys are the first player, which is the host, you guys will begin the black joggers. But if you're the second player, you're going to be getting the red joggers. Whenever you guys fully load in, just go ahead and head to your apartment. When you do get to your apartment, just letting you guys know, if you guys are new to this, you guys cannot see your apartment on the map, so you will have to remember where your apartment is at. So whenever you are at your apartment, go ahead and walk up to the blue circle, and you're going to want to go ahead and blow yourself up. You can use a rocket or a sticky bomb. So whenever, once you're in the blue circle, just blow yourself up. And after you do load back into the session, go ahead and just walk into your apartment. Whenever you're here inside your apartment, go ahead and go down to the changing clothes section. Whenever you're here inside the closet, just go ahead and scroll down to your accessories and you're just gonna wanna change one part of your outfit. So just change the gloves or you can change the shoes. But since I'm just gonna go ahead and change the shoes, head to your accessories, scroll down to gloves and you can just put on any pair of gloves that you guys want. After you do equip the gloves that you guys do like with the, with the outfit, it really doesn't matter, but just go ahead and save this outfit on any slot. After you do save the outfit, you can now back out, back out of the closet. Go ahead and you can now pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. When you do load back into a public session with the black joggers, you can go ahead and head to the clothing store so we can go ahead and do the outfit that you guys see in the thumbnail. After you make it to the clothing store with the black joggers outfit, to create the rest of the outfit, you're going to walk over here to the top section, scroll down until you do find a polo shirts on slot 51, and you're going to equip the vibe polo shirt on slot 48. After you do equip this polo shirt, you can then just back out of the top section. We don't need to worry about the pants since we are wearing the black joggers, but go over here to your accessories, and then you're going to go to scarves on slot 3, and equip the black desert scarf on slot 2. After you have the black desert scarf, you can then go to gloves on slot 7 and equip the black woolen gloves on slot 58. And after you have the black woolen gloves, you can then go to cuffs on slot 8. And for your left arm, you're going to equip the spiked gauntlet on slot 27. Now if you scroll down to slot, I believe it's going to be 71, you're going to equip the spiked gauntlet for your right arm. When you do have the scarf, the gloves, and the cuffs, that's all for your accessories. So now walk over here to your shoes, scroll down to sports shoes on slot 9 and look for the orange sport shoes on slot 49. After you do have these sport shoes, you can then just back out of the shoe section, take off any head accessories that your character does have, and even if your character has a parachute, take that off also. Now that your outfit looks like this, you're going to go back over here to the top section, go to utility vest on slot 60, and you're going to look for the peach plate carrier, which will be on slot 44. And after you have the peach plate carrier on your character, back up the top section once again, walk over here to the front counter. You're just going to hit edit saved outfits and save your outfit on any slot that you want. And hopefully your outfit looks just like this. When your outfit looks like this and you have saved it, back out of your edit saved outfits, scroll down through your clothing until you find heist coveralls on slot 13. Scroll down from slot 9 through slot 12 and equip one of these outfits with a toxic mask. After you do that, back out of the front counter, and now we're going to head over here to the pier for the telescope glitch. And after you've made it to the pier and you find the telescope, do the telescope glitch. So run by the telescope like this, press right on the d-pad, you'll see that your character runs in place. Then look towards the telescope, that's how you know you're glitched. Pull up your interaction menu, go to style, and equip the outfit we just saved at the clothing store, which will look like this. Put away your interaction menu, 
walk away from the telescope, the mask will merge over with your outfit. All we're going to do now is just head to a gun store. Once you guys do make it to a gun store, just walk over here to the top section, hit edit saved outfits, and save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save your outfit, back up to the top section, and now we're going to start up a job. To do this, hit pause, go to online, click on jobs, click on play job, click on rockstar created, click on missions, look for the job that's called a titan of a job, and fully start up that mission. And as soon as you do load into the job, you should see that your character's not wearing the peach plate carrier or utility vest anymore, but you're still wearing the toxic mask. So go back over here to the top section, hit edit saved outfits, and once again, save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save your outfit, back out of the top section, you can now just pull up your phone and quit the job from your phone. Whenever you are back in a public or an invite only session, go back inside the gun store, walk back over here to the top section, you're then gonna go to vest, on slot 54 and equip any normal vest that looks like this. Don't equip a sweater vest or else it won't work. So, or you, it can, you guys just will be using a different vest shirt. But after you do equip a normal vest that looks like this, back out of vest, go to vest shirts on slot 55 and you're gonna equip the black band vest shirt on slot 14. And after you do equip the black band vest shirt, which this is the important shirt that you need, you can then back out of the top section. And now we're going to do the merge glitch. So I will leave a link in the description for it's a cheating thing. You guys can bookmark that job for the merge glitch. But for me, I'm going to do the heist department merge. So I will get back to you when I am at my apartment. After you do make it to your apartment, you're going to go into the heist planning board room and go up here to the heist planning board. You guys can use any heist that you want, but since I am on here, I'm using the Fleeka job. So what you need to do is if you're using the Fleeka job is just complete the scope out mission and then go to the second job, which is called Kuruma and launch that mission. When you're in the Kuruma job, set your heist clothing to player saved outfits, and then you can confirm your settings and invite whoever you want, like a friend or a random. And when someone does join, just launch the mission. Now that you're in here where it shows your owned outfits, scroll to the slot to wherever you did save your outfit, which will look like this and then you can hit ready to play. And as soon as you guys are inside of the job, all you need to do now is just pull up your phone and you can quit the job from your phone. Once you guys have loaded back into a public or an invite only lobby, you're gonna find a car. It doesn't matter if it's your personal vehicle or a random civilian car on the street, go ahead and get inside that car. Now pull up your interaction menu and you can register as a CEO or a motorcycle club. After you do that, pull up your interaction menu up again, click on secure serve CEO or motorcycle club then you're gonna to go to management, go to style or MC style, and then on your style, you're gonna scroll one time to the left, then one time to the right back to none, hop out of the car, and then you will see that all your clothing merges together like the black band vest shirt merges with the orange shirt with the rest of your outfit with the orange joggers. Now, we're just gonna to head to the clothing store so then we get the orange thermal quad lens. When you have made it to the clothing store, the thing I'd recommend you to do is either go up here to the top section or you can go up to the front counter and save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save your outfit, now you're going to wait maybe around 15 to 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds, and then you can go ahead and try to re-equip your outfit again until you guys see the orange loading circle or the white loading circle in the bottom right hand corner. Once you guys see that loading circle, then you're going to want to restart your game and load into a brand new GTA Online session because for some reason whenever we try to get the orange thermal quad lens, once we hop out of the car, the quad lens disappears. I don't know why, that's just, I, I guess that's just a problem with GTA. So after you do restart your game, you're just going to go back inside the clothing store, scroll down until you do find helmets, which will be on slot 16, and you're going to look for the black open face helmet, which will be on slot 78. After you buy the black open face helmet, back out of helmets, go to combat helmets on slot 23, and look for the zebra quad lens on slot 24. After you do equip the zebra quad lens on your character, back out of the hats, pull up your interaction menu, you're then just going to go to your style, scroll down to bike helmet, and you're going to set it to the black open face helmet, just like this. When your bike helmet is set to the black open face helmet, back out of style, register as a boss so i'd probably say a ceo is the best for this so click on secure serve ceo and start an organization after you do that you're now going to want to find a car once you find a car pull up your interaction menu up again hover over style get inside the car scroll up to secure serve ceo click on it click on management click on style and on your ceo style you're going to scroll one time to the right 
then once I'm to the left back to none, hop out of the car, you'll see that the zebra quadlens is on your character. Now hold right on your D-pad to lift up your visors like this, and you'll see that your quadlens turn purple. Now if you want your visor to go down, hold right on the D-pad again. Now if you're on PC, I'm not really sure which button it is, so what you can do is pull up your interaction menu, go to your style, go to helmet visor, and you can just set it to up or down, and you should see that your thermal quadlens turn orange. And what we're gonna do now is for the mask is just head over here to the mask door. Whenever you guys have made it to the mask door, you can walk over here to your mask, go to ski mask, onslaught 21, scroll down to the bottom on slot 114 and equip the black tie ski. After you do equip the black tie ski, you should see that it merges with the orange thermal quad lens. Now for the final accessory, it's going to be the black parachute. So to equip it, pull up your interaction menu, go to your style, go to your parachute, set it to on, and have it set to the black combat shoe bag. If you don't have the black combat shoe bag, what you're gonna do is go to a gun store, go up to the front counter, go to parachute, go to parachute bags, and then buy the black combat shoe bag. After you buy it, you can back out of the front counter, it will disappear off your character, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your parachute, set it to on, and it should be set to the black combat shoe bag like this. And that will be all for your outfit. So if you are wondering what it looks like in the pause menu, here you guys go. I think this is actually a really nice orange and black outfit. Maybe a Halloween outfit if you guys maybe just want to make it for that. But yeah, so now you can go over here to the tops, the hats, or the mask. Hit edit saved outfits and save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you have saved it, that will be all. So I hope you guys did enjoy this black joggers orange rip shirt outfit that I made in today's video for your male character. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.